Hey everybody, it's Joe Graham with Keller Williams Realty in Naperville and we're heading into a shifting market and the question keeps coming up. How do I win in a multiple offer situation? In buyer's markets, the winning offer in a multiple offer situation is often less than listing price as opposed to in a seller's market when it's almost guaranteed to be over list price. The number of multiple offer situations are generally fewer than we've seen over the past years, meaning that in, in a multiple offer situation, you might be competing against one person rather than three or four or five. So what I wanted to do today was give you some suggestions as to how to win in a multiple offer situation. I want to start with sell your existing home first. If you're moving up and you have a home to sell, don't buy before selling if you can avoid it. So if you're a first time home buyer, you may already have an advantage over an existing home buyer who has to sell their home in order to buy the next home, right? So if one offer on a home in a multiple offer situation contains a contingency that's upon them selling their home and another one doesn't have that, you're at an immediate disadvantage. So search for a temporary living situation where you can live for a few months in order to be in your best position to win. Next, I call it play fair. Don't lowball the seller on their initial price of, of your offer, okay? So make an assumption that your agent's gonna be doing their homework first, right? And that you're not gonna be overpaying for the home. So if you find the seller is asking a fair price, you're guaranteeing to start off the negotiations on the wrong foot by lowballing at your initial offer. And what's gonna happen eight out of 10 times is that you're gonna end up paying more for that home than you would have if you would have just made a reasonable offer up front. Nobody likes to feel like they've been offended in their own home, right? Next is find out what it's important to the seller. Ask your agent what the seller's hot buttons are in the transaction and what the seller's really looking for. So we're gonna circle back around to this, but oftentimes it's gonna come down to something called the highest and best offer, okay? Highest always means your price. Best always means your terms, okay? So find out from the seller's perspective what's gonna seal the deal for them. Maybe what's most important is not price at all. Maybe it's the terms of say 30 day closing versus a 75 day closing, okay? So whatever the case is, you never know until you ask, right? So just make sure that you always find out what's most important to the seller. Next is something we call share the love. Oftentimes when a buyer is in a multiple offer situation, we advise them, it's in our little, little toolkit here, what we should do is write a letter, a love letter, basically, to the seller of the home, letting them know why your home is so perfect for our buyer, okay? And so we have our buyers oftentimes take a family photo or take one of the family photos that they've had before with the dog and, and smiles across the board and send it in a letter form with our offer to the seller. Oftentimes in a multiple offer situation, it really makes our, our offer stand out head and shoulders above the crowd. Everyone wants to know that their home is being turned over to a, a really nice family, okay? Next is prepare for a counter offer. So you can write the best offer you want, but in a competing situation, oftentimes, almost every time, the listing agent is gonna advise their seller to call for what's called highest and best, right? So they're gonna say, hey, give us your highest and best offer. Do buy a certain amount of time, okay? Now, if we've done our homework and we find out what the best means, we already know what highest means, right? So your agent, you're gonna rely on your agent to make sure that you're not gonna overpay for that home, okay? But just remember that this is likely gonna happen and that the seller doesn't necessarily need to go highest and best. But if you present things like we've said before, the family photo, we haven't offended them on our initial offer, sometimes you're gonna get a seller that only counter offers you instead of counter offering the other people. I hope this was helpful. And as always, if you have a question that you'd like to have answered in a video just like this, go ahead and contact us with the information below and we'll include it in a future video. So thanks again for watching. And this is Joe Graham with Keller Williams Realty. Have a great day.